Hello, my name is Francisco. I'm from Chile and I live here in Copañón around four years and a half. My role in Tantra movement at the beginning was friendship with the owner, Michao, and after that I volunteered and later on I tried to manage a little bit of the place, tried to collaborate how it was needed at that time. I like it, the family environment it was all the time. The openness of heart and personalities, uh, because people can be shy, but the time then I experienced the courses, everyone was mature and old enough to share the experience with each other. I really like the long and extenuous hours the massage. Sometimes it was like three hours and a half. The back sweating, but all the time in familiar environment. I mean, we laugh a lot and we enjoy what we were doing all together. I really enjoyed the yoga in the morning in the beach. It was incredible. And after that, we were swimming all together. That it was pretty cool. I was lucky then when I did my courses several times. It was an amazing weather. I mean, in a paradise island, paradise beach, nice people swimming, doing yoga in the beach. Cannot be better. It's like in the movies, like a dream. I believe that Copañan is one of the epicenter. It's one of them. Maybe there are five, six, or seven. Here is going. It's, it's a big tantric uh, community. I could say learning about boundaries, but mostly I recommend it to everyone. The step number one in Tantra is learn to love yourself and respect yourself. That is the first step. And after that, you're ready to be able to love others. Learn to respect yourself. That is the first thing. When you learn to respect yourself, you're ready for others. But mostly, you know when you're ready to go and approach someone with a fully open heart and mind. Everyone was trying to find their own path in the island, in the community. Most of the people is doing Tantra here in the island, myself and many others. They were looking for something. They were looking for explanation. They were lost. And there are so many techniques here yoga, rebirthing, tantra, this and that, and everyone want to try everything. At this case, they can find what is the best for them. That means I recommend it to try it with your eyes closed, surrender, smile, enjoy, enjoy the process. Uh, very important, if it's not for you, don't be shy, let it go. That is my opinion, and other people encourage to keep going. I know, and I talk with a lot of people in Tantra with a lot of experience, I don't agree to push people because you can re-traumatize the people. Other teachers, they believe if they encourage them, they can fix that trauma. That means it's a very thin line. Then I, I could be wrong, I could be right, but you're playing with fire a little bit there. That means be careful, you can get burned. It's very important, I want to be honest, it's not for everyone. I mean, go open-minded. As well, you really need to be not judge to yourself, not judge to the others. Be very respectful, please. It's super important. Respect is the mo one of the most important things in life. People don't see that. Open yourself, dude, with your open arms. If you don't surrender and you really believe in the experience, you're not gonna get the best of it and it's not gonna be full, full commitment. The heart sharing circle is very good because it's kind of a spiritual psychologist situation. It's your time to release whatever you have. They are hiding, like holding it. I mean, it's time for you to release and be free. It's very important to trust 
trust uh, even if you don't know the people trust trust in the the people is there it's nice and friendly and love have, have a really be a good person if you're a good person everything is gonna be okay well, for me it's two people one is my friend and another is the teacher as a friend I feel it him as my brother in the island and we have a friendship for three years and a half, something like that. He has been for me when I needed. I have been trying to be there for him. As a teacher, he's good, he's friendly, he knows what he does. He has the wisdom, he respects and very conscious. I mean I feel comfortable when I was there. He's with a positive energy and he always with a smile. I mean they break any uncomfortable situation, something that can arise and make you feel welcome in his school and in his house. That means you become part of the family. Tantra movement is very unique for what they teach in the island because it's a high level. Everyone was trying to learn about themselves, about the body. Who knows how many parts of your penis can be erotic or how many parts in your vagina can be erotic. I mean, they give you a lot of information for have a better sex life. We should learn that when we are in the school, from our parents. It's high, it's religion, it's a taboo, and it's a natural thing. We, everyone is born by love of your father and your mother, and it's nothing to be ashamed about it. And uh, we need to break that line, that wall. It's natural. Give it a try. If, if, if you don't feel then it's not, not for you, a smile, thank you very much for the experience and find something else. Uh, life is, is every day, every day is a good day. I mean, try try everything. And maybe you, with Tantra, you can find many explanations for your life. You can fix relationship, you can fix trauma, you can find happiness maybe, the different ways. Thank you very much. You're welcome.